Kia ora koutou and welcome back to NZ Clever Home. Now if you're anything like me, the moment you get into the home automation space, you'll look for every opportunity to include devices in your home. One of the first things I wanted to achieve was to have my garage door open the moment I drove down the street without having to push a single button. And of course, I wanted that to happen in HomeKit. So follow me as I show you how I did that with the Sonoff 4 Channel Pro. So here's a closer look at the box. As you can see, it's got the three different functions, the inching, the interlock, and the self-locking. Uh, you can use it straight out of the box with the eWe Link app, which is compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant and Nest. Uh, and what's also interesting to note about this is that it, is, it also uh, works with RF signals. So you can um, set up a key fob with this as well. Um, I don't know why you would, but you could. Um, and, but it only works off 2.4 gig uh, internet. So you can't use this on uh, 5 gig, um, only on 2.4. But, you know, most modems now are dual band, so you can choose which one to use. So here is my uh, Sonoff 4 Channel Pro in the garage. As you can see, I've just screwed it to the uh, wall. It has uh, a power cord running into the back of it. And then you'll see two little wires coming out of uh, the first relay. So ordinarily in your garage, you will have this wire here coming from the ceiling, which links up to your garage door switch about there and that plugs into the back of your uh, garage door motor and that's what creates the switch so when you press the button the motor starts and the door opens in order to get the four channel pro working you have to replace this wire with two smaller wires now i got these wires from an old um, ethernet cable i just split the cable uh, untwisted the wires and separated two of them so you run two wires into the same holes that this wire was in. You then join those with one of these plugs. I don't know what they're called, sorry. <laughs> and then mimic the other two wires into the first relay of the 4-channel Pro. And then of course, what that does is this is Wi-Fi enabled. So you can send Wi-Fi signals to this, which will trigger the motor. Because it's an inching mode, once you send a signal to this, it will turn the device on for three seconds, which will open the door and then it turns it off so that when you press it again, uh, you can shut the garage door. That's the whole point of the inching mode. So if I show you now on my smartwatch, hey Siri, garage door on. Yes. Garage door on. Coming right up. The garage door opens, which <laughs> takes forever, sorry. Now of course, this has uh, activated the switch and then turned it off again. So now that when I say it again, hey Siri, garage door on. The garage door will close again. Now I have combined my Sonoff 4 Channel Pro with a Show Me wireless contact sensor, which is there. So what that does is it tells me if the garage door is open or closed. So right now it will say open, uh, closed, sorry, uh, because it's made contact. And when the door opens, the contact breaks, and so it tells me that the garage door is open. And I'll show you that in HomeKit now. So if we have a look on my phone now, I can show you the what the Sonoff 4 Channel Pro looks like in HomeKit, and also what the Xiaomi uh, window sensor looks like. 
So this is my uh, door or window sensor from Xiaomi and it's currently showing that the garage door is closed and this here is my Sonoff 4 Channel Pro switch. So if I flick that switch the garage door will open and as you can see the contact sensor now says that the garage door is open and once the garage door has fully opened I can flick the switch again uh, and it will close. In fact, I could flick it halfway through and it will just stop the garage door from opening and then flick it again and it will close the door. But I believe from hearing it's now fully open, so I'll close it again. And uh, in a second, you'll see that the uh, door sensor will say that the garage door is closed. Now, one thing to consider here is that obviously for safety reasons, I currently don't have a visual of my garage door. So if anything was in the way to obstruct the garage door, that might be a problem. Um, but I'm fairly confident that that's not the case. I do have a camera in my garage door, so I can all, in my garage, so I can always check uh, whether anything's in the way or if there's anything obstructing it uh, and stop that motion from happening anyway. Uh, the other thing to note here is this is what the uh, the 4 Channel Pro uh, looks like in its configuration panel. So the Sonoff produces its own uh, URL, uh, and this is mine, and you can see that there are four switches there. Now Toggle 1 is the only one I'm using, that's the garage door, but I do have three other options. So if I liked, I could use the same device to operate a gate, uh, to operate another garage door if I had two in my house. Um, so you have four uh, relays there that you can work with. Um, all the other tab tabs are information and um, configuration stuff. I won't go into that now, um, but those are the things that you will work with when configuring it once you have uh, flashed it with Tasmota firmware. So the whole purpose of installing the Sonoff 4 Channel Pro in the garage was so that I didn't have to push a button or send any commands. I wanted it fully automated when that I drive down my street, the garage door opens and I can drive straight in. In order to do that, we need to set up an automation. It's a geofencing automated automation. So a geofence is kind of like a, a, an invisible fence around a perimeter that you set up. So for example, in this case, my house, I have a, a geofence around that. And when I enter the geo space, it triggers uh, a command which opens the garage door. So now I'm gonna show you how you can do that using HomeKit. So to do that, we open up the Home app on our phone and click on the bottom right, Automation. And you can see these are all of the automations that I have so far. And it's this one here that operates my garage. So it tells you that when I arrive at this address, uh, use this accessory and turn it on. So basically, when I enter my geofence uh, through my phone, uh, it sends a signal to my Sonoff uh, 4 Channel Pro, which opens the garage. So just to show you how you would make an automation like that, you just hit the plus sign, and then you've got these options. Uh, when I arrive, when I leave, time of day, controlling an accessory and sensor, etc. So I would put when I arrive, uh, and it's going to be just me. And I'm gonna put my location home, so next. And then I want to tell it what I want it to trigger. So uh, in this case, it would be the garage door, next and then I want it to turn on, and then done. And that's as, it's as simple as that. So now, whenever I drive down my street, my garage door will open and I can drive straight in. That's home automation at its best. Now, if you're not concerned about using Apple HomeKit as your main platform for your home automation, then this is something that will work for you straight out of the box. It is compatible with Amazon Echo and also with Google Home. So as long as you've got it set up in inching mode, you do some slight tweaking around, and there are hundreds of videos on YouTube to show you how to do that, then this will work straight out of the box. But you all know me, I'm an Apple HomeKit 
freak and I wanted to be able to control my garage door using my Apple devices. If you want to go down that route, it is slightly more difficult. You do have to flash custom firmware onto this device, Tasmota firmware, which can be quite cumbersome. Uh, in fact, I had a, a tech friend help me do that. Uh, and then you can expose the switch to Home Assistant and then push it down to Home Kit. So, you know, there is some configuring involved, but when you compare that with the price, this was around 50 bucks on AliExpress. A HomeKit enabled garage door opener is $200. Uh, you know, that $150 saving might work out. I know that it's $200 because I have actually bitten the bullet and I have ordered myself a LiftMaster MyQ garage door opener, which does work with AppleKit out of the box. So once that comes, I will uh, do a new review and show you that and hopefully it'll be a much easier process. But this is a affordable option and if you're not HomeKit, then it will work straight out of the box for you.